What I'm standing next to right now is the Prosthesis Racing Mech from Furion Robotics. It is the world's first exobionic racing mech. It sounds crazy, right? It is essentially a piston-driven robot controlled by human movement. And they're actually, they say it's gonna run 20 miles per hour. It's gonna be able to jump. They're even gonna start a racing league around this thing. So let's check out what it can do. So to be perfectly honest, it hasn't quite reached its full potential yet. Because even when you're piloting a giant mechanical robot, you still have to walk before you can run or jump. And actually, in this case, you have to just lean a little bit before you can walk. But the developers of this technology say that even this little bit of movement is actually a pretty big step, so to speak. Today was sort of like witnessing the birth of a baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. Like it was the very first most tentative steps out of the nest into the wild world. This was like uh, my very early stages of learning the character of the machine. It's like taming a beast. Creator Jonathan Tippett says that this project is 10 years in the making. And even though it'd probably be easier to control this monstrosity with a joystick or a steering wheel, Tippett specifically stuck with full body control because he didn't want to abandon the athletic element of the process. Which is important because the end goal of all of this is to make mech racing into a new competitive sport. The exobionic control scheme was absolutely central to the project. I, I come from a heritage of mountain biking and martial arts and motorcycling where you have to use your entire body in, in unison with a machine and you need a tremendous amount of experience and focus. And it was, it was kind of important to me from a, a philosophical perspective not to make something that was just a, a canned experience, you know? I wanted it to be something that was an earned experience, something that the, the greatest rewards come from those things that require effort to earn. And, and that's what I wanted this to be. I wanted to create a new experience for somebody to master. The suspension is spec from, from a, a, a long, and proven technology lineage of trophy truck racing and, and high performance off-road racing. So these shocks are built for major abuse. And when you get a good pilot in here, they will be able to build up a nice rhythm and get a gate going. There's a good chance this thing's gonna be able to jump in the air. The ultimate goal of this is to create a new human experience. That is the sort of ideal lofty goal. The more acute goal is to create machinery that amplifies the actions of a, a human. Uh, you know, it's really important from my perspective to keep the human in the loop as our technology advances. Furion says it plans to create a mech racing league, but since right now they're really the only company with a functional racing mech, they're publicly challenging other tech companies and hobbyists to step up and make their own. As for when Prosthesis will actually start walking and running, Furion says it's shooting for later this summer and hopes to get the racing league off the ground within the next couple years. Thank you.